Hi everyone, my name is Karen. This is my channel Rather Be Reading and today I'm bringing to you my June Marked As To Read video. So my Marked As To Read video is a series of videos where I just go through all of the books that I was inspired to mark as to read on Goodreads in the past month. Um, so I talk to you guys about what the books are, where I heard about them, what they're about, why I'm excited about them, all of that jazz. So let's just jump straight in. I did mark a total of 10 books as to read in June, so let's talk about all of them. So the first book that I marked as to read in June was All We Ever Wanted by Emily Giffen. This is one that I heard Gabby Reads talking about. I've heard of Emily Giffen before and I just thought of her as kind of your standard kind of chick lit romancy type of author. Um, but the premise of this book sounded really intriguing to me. It follows three different perspectives. A single father, his teenage daughter, and then I'm not sure if she's a single mother, but also the mother of a, of a teenage boy. And there's some kind of photo taken at a party that completely rocks this like town or area or whatever their community um and it's about all of that i'm not sure exactly what the picture is like if it's a picture of of the teenage daughter when she's passed out something or maybe but it just sounds like a much more like hard-hitting issues type of book um which intrigued me a lot so and gabby had really good things to say about it and so i marked that one as to read um the next book that i marked as to read is city of girls by elizabeth gilbert so i've actually seen this book being talked about a bit on booktube over the past month but i'm right at the start of the month when i marked it as to read i'd never heard of it and goodreads posted an interview like on their blog or whatever they posted an interview with the author and so the quote that i really loved that inspired me to mark this book as to read was I've longed to write a novel about promiscuous girls whose lives are not destroyed by their sexual desires. That's all I really know. And uh, that was enough for me to mark that as to read. Uh, the next book I also um, heard about on Goodreads blog post. Um, this one was a blog post about June's hottest releases. Um, and the book is Magic for Liars by Sarah Gailey. And so the little blurb that they had next to this book was private investigator Ivy has a slight drinking problem and a major magic problem. Hired to solve a grisly murder at a school for sorcery, she teams up with her gifted sister in this genre bending debut that mixes fantasy and noir fiction. That sounds amazing. We have a magic school, um, but with adult characters, we've got a sister relationship, we have a murder, magic, there's a lot going on. It's ticking a lot of my boxes. So I marked that as to read. Uh, the next book is one that I heard Lauren and the books talking about, which is Perfectly Preventable Deaths by Deidre Sullivan. So Lauren talked about this on her channel. She didn't actually love it. I think she gave it like a three star, but the premise of it just sounded right up my alley. This is a YA novel. It's about a twin girls who move to this new town where it's quite famous for teenage girls going missing in like the woods or forest or whatever around the town. Um, it involves witches in some way. I don't really know too much more apart from that. But again, it just sounded very, very interesting. The next two books that I marked as to read are both books that I heard about on Simon from Savage Reads channel. Um, he did a nosy through the bookshelf series that he does. I think it was with his friend Kim, maybe. I'm not exactly sure. But they talked about two books in particular that I think I'd vaguely heard of before, but didn't really know anything about them. But the way they spoke about them just sounded so interesting. The first of them is Under the Skin by Michael Faber. This is kind of a sci-fi horror, which is all I really remember from what they were talking about is that it's about a woman who picks up hitchhikers. But I think the whole idea of it is that there's something more going on and it's about trying to figure out what she's doing with these hitchhikers or why she's picking up these hitchhikers or something like that. It just sounded very intriguing. And the second one that they talked about was um, Skin Lane by Neil Bartlett. This one is a historical fiction, like LGBT novel, but it sounds really creepy. It's about a guy who is having these like really awful um nightmares like recurring nightmares and he's just having it over and over where he starts to become really obsessed by this nightmare and then something happens and he meets this boy and the boy is somehow involved in this recurring nightmare and then he becomes like obsessed with this boy and about trying to figure out what this boy has to do with his dreams and it all gets very creepy and weird I don't know it just sounded very interesting the way that they were talking about the maids seemed very interesting so if you want to know more check out that video from Simon's channel because they made it sound a lot more interesting than what I'm doing. Uh, the next book that I marked as to read was just from one of the Goodreads like 
books hitting shelves soon um posts and that was the first mistake by sandy jones so this one is just like kind of a standard thriller it's about two friends one of them is married i think she's on her second marriage and she's really happy with her marriage but then her husband starts to act a bit strange and so she starts to kind of confide in her friend but then it's about maybe that her friend isn't someone she should be trusting not really sure too much about it but it's a thriller it's got friendship um elements to it which i love so it just sounded interesting um the next one is another thriller this one is one that i actually heard about um over on murphy napier's channel Murphy Napier has started narrating audiobooks and this is an, an, um, a book that she narrated that she talked about and even though she narrates the audiobooks and she talks about the books that she narrated that month like in her wrap-up she's very honest about the books and whether she enjoyed them herself and such and so this one is a thriller novel that she really loved and it sounds really interesting it's about a girl who was abducted I think when she was like 13 and she's missing for a month and then she's found running naked down the street one day and then it's about five years later and the man who like abducted her and tortured her and raped her or whatever has never been found. And then I think some more girls start to go missing in the town and it's about all of that. Um, so I say Murphy really, really enjoyed it and it just sounded like an interesting thriller. So I was interested in that one. And then the final two books are both from Goodreads blog posts about like books hitting shelves soon. Two separate blog posts, but both from the same type of blog post. The first is The Last House Guest by Megan Miranda. This one is about a kind of beach town where it's one of those towns where there's a lot of summer tourists, but then there's also the people who live there year round and a summer girl and like a local have formed a friendship and every summer they have this really strong best friendship over like a decade. And then when they're adults, one of them dies and the police have ruled it a suicide, but the friend doesn't think that it was suicide. It's about her trying to prove whether it's murder, pretty tropey thriller premise which is fine because you guys know that doesn't bother me um i was also interested in this one though because it's by megan miranda i've read a couple of her thrillers and quite enjoyed them um so i was excited to hear about that one and then the final book that i marked as to read was a nearly normal family by mt edvardson and rachel wilson broils um this one is another thriller this one is about an 18 year old girl who has been accused of murder and the man she's accused of murdering is like 15 years older than her. He's a shady businessman. And it's about um, why would this 18-year-old girl have been involved in any way with this man to have murdered him. I think it's told more from the perspective of her parents. Her father is a pastor and her mom is a criminal defense lawyer. And I think it's got a lot of themes of do you ever really know who your children really are? And how far would you go to protect your children? All of that type of themes, which can be very interesting in a thriller. So that's it. Those are the books that I marked as to read over this past month. I would love to chat with you guys in the comments down below for the ones that are not already, for the ones that are already published. I mean, whether you have read them, have any thoughts on them, or if you guys have been hearing about any new and interesting books lately and getting really excited for them, because you guys know I'm always looking for recommendations because I love clicking that to read button on good reads so yeah i would love any recommendations from you guys please like this video if you liked it please subscribe if you want to see more from my channel that is all i have for this video today bye guys